What's happening, everybody? I'm Simo Malone, your radio feel-good man, one of your most trusted and respected voices in radio. Well, I'm right here in Studio 236, and I thank you for clicking on. Today, I have one of the greatest spotlights for this year. This is a dear friend to the Malone family who has seen me grow up as a young man who knows my mother, the late evangelist Jesse Malone, and all my five brothers and my sister. It has been some years since we've seen each other, and God has truly kept her. Even with any setbacks that this woman of God has had, God has restored her and strengthened her. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are watching, if this is truly a friend to the Malone family. Uh, I want to welcome Dr. Juanita Jolly, and she's going to tell you her last name because she recently got married, and we're going to salute her for that. But I know her as the wonderful Dr. Juanita Jolly. I want to welcome you to Studio 236 of FMHDMS. It's been some years it has. since you've been here. You look lovely. Praise the Lord. And you truly are a friend to the Malone family and have been for many years and seen me grow up. Let me give you a big hug and kiss. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You know, uh, Simone, and I say Simone because I you grew up, I called you Anthony. That's right, which is a part of my name, right. Anthony, Anthony Simone Malone. Simone. <laughs> But you grew up um, with a mother who was a mother to beat all, um, Jesse Malone, That's evangelist it. Jesse Malone. And I happened to live across the back alley between uh, Gaynor Road and uh, maybe Winfield. Now, I was too young to know this. Yes, you were. <laughs> But somebody told me that uh, since I needed someone to care for the children, that there was a lady right through my back door and up the road. And she was only about four houses away. And she welcomed my children. And it was a point at which she took care of them every day of the week. And they slept over because I moved up to West Oak Lane from Winfield. Wow. And so we were really family. And I've known you since you were about five years old. She's known me since I was five. Now, the question I have, because for, for my listeners and viewers, because you've seen me grow up, you yeah. know the type of uh, family that I grew up in, a very spirit-filled family, a God-fearing mother. Uh, what was it like me growing up as a young man? Because I don't remember when I was five years old sometimes, people that I met, but you certainly remember. I do remember, yeah. and, I, and I, I'm smiling about it because I wasn't saved. Wow. Uh, I wasn't saved, and your mother was saved. <laughs> and she let me know every minute that she could that she was saved, but probably I ought to be too. Right. And I was giving her the hand, you know, I wasn't paying attention. Sure. But what I knew was that she was steeped in the word and that the children, you, 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 her family and my family, I mean, if it was a, a service on Wednesday, all the children went to church. We were in church. If it was a Friday night service, all the children went to That's church. Right. So I knew that it was a godly home. It wasn't just something that people said uh, or talked about, but she, it was something that she lived. That's right. And so I would see you um, maybe praying, uh, singing, uh, <laughs> hallelujah, praise the Lord. And I was rolling my eyes. I said, she, he's just mimicking his <laughs> And then I came to learn that her yeah. mantle had really fallen on you. Thank you. And that it was real. And I'm so excited Thank you, seeing Jesus. you this many years later. Um, you've been persistent and committed uh, to your ministry, Thank you. to your family, um, and to a lifestyle in front of the Lord that can be admired, um, you're a witness. That's right. And so I, I'm truly excited. Sometimes we say when we're airing, uh, I'm excited to be with you, or I'm happy to be with you, but this is heartfelt. Absolutely. I'm delighted and heart, and, and my heart is full. Yes. Uh, knowing your mother, knowing what she put into you, Thank you, and seeing it manifest itself through the power of God. Wonderful. That's so true, Dr. Jolly. We, we were reflecting before we decided to do the live video. But Dr. Jolly, you, you've you been around my mother. Um, you, you said something interesting when we were up in the lounge mm -hmm. talking that um, my mother lived the life and you said that you were unsaved. And how did that experience happen with my mother when you were unsaved to witness to you and, and lead you to Christ or tell you about Christ because she lived the life. She and lived then once the life. you become saved, it was like 
really on fire. It's true. And and I'll tell you, um, it is a um, lesson in evangelism. Because a lot of times we think we have to take a Bible and thump somebody over the head. And, and Evangelist Malone did some of that. <laughs> <laughs> but more how she lived. Yeah. That when the time came for me to receive the fullness of the Lord in my own spirit, for me to repent before the Lord and accept him as my personal savior, I went back to, to Jesse. Yeah. And I told her. And she didn't laugh at me. She could have because she knew the life I was living. But she didn't laugh at me. She supported me. And it meant a lot to me. And I'm going to give that anecdote I shared with you how I was with her. I probably didn't know that, that she was in her own illness at that point. Right. But I do know that now. I, I did know soon after that she was. But I had a dear, dear, dear friend from high school who was in the last stages of his illness. Sure. And I sat and I talked to her about him and whether or not he was saved, etc. And then the spirit moved upon me. And he lived in Chicago. And I picked up the phone in her presence and called him and asked him if he would, if he hadn't already given his uh, life to the Lord. Uh, to consider doing that seriously. And I never knew for sure whether he did. I preached his funeral. I preached his mother's funeral before that. Um, but his brother thought he might have. Sure. And I recognized <clears throat> that no matter what work we do, how many words we preach, how many classes we teach, that it's the work of the Lord anyway. All you can do is witness, as yes. your mother did, um, through her life, and, and speak the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So, um, so, so I'm, I'm saying that Jesse made a big difference in my life. So when I turned to the Lord, I had an example of what that life looked like. Yeah. Not just what it looked like to have somebody saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Certainly. But what the life itself looked like. And as jocular as she was, and she was, she always had a, a she, you know, just a, a, a happy way of sharing things with you. That's right. And I, and I tell everybody, I said, well, J Jesse would reach out to give you a tap. When you were tapped, you were tapped because she was a strong, physically oh, yeah. strong woman. Yes. So you go, oh, she touched me. <laughs> you know, you say, Jesus touched me. Jesse touched me. That's oh, right. I'm she touched it. me. Yeah. But, but she, 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 she was humorous and all of that. But she was as serious as she could be yeah. about blessing her children with the word of God, blessing anybody she came into right. uh, contact with, with the, the word of God and the witness <clears throat> of God. Um, and so it was a gift to me yeah. when I came to the Lord to be able to look at what life in Christ was That's right. uh, up close and personal. Awesome. And, and, and it helped me. And she was very hospitable. When when you come to the Malone house, you, you ate well. All the time. <laughs> All the time. And you had to be careful not to just go there to eat. That's right. Because she always had something ready That's to right. share with you. And and I said to you earlier that, that uh, with six children and the children she took care of, I want to just talk about how we think of lack in our lives. Yes. And so m many people will say, I can't give them anything to eat. I've got to feed my children. I've got to feed my family. I can't That's share right. them. She shared That's always, right. and she didn't lack. No, we never lacked in the household of the Malone's. She didn't lack. No. And so it, 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 this is the word of God borne out. Yes. You cannot outgive God. Yes. And so Jesse gave, every, when she left the planet, mm. she left everything on the table. Yeah. You know, so um, it was my gift to know her and you and to see what God has done in your life. Yes. Uh, I'm very thankful. And my children are now following you on Facebook. So yes. Hello to you. them. Yes, because uh, <laughs> they grew up with you. That's right. My older children grew That's up right. with you. And you've raised some wonderful children. They're professionals. And um, let's just talk about your children briefly. Then we're going to uh, continue with part two, where we're going to focus on her ministry and what she's doing. This woman of God has traveled abroad. 
and she's doing some amazing things. She's written some some amazing materials. We're going to talk about that. But let, let's talk about your children. I remember growing up with Terry and and Angie. And Angie. I can't get all their names. And if y'all watching, Tony. hello, Tony. Tony, I remember growing up with them and, and your children. They all are professionals uh, they because are. of your vision, your leadership. I mean, you being an educator, setting an example. You know, I, I, it would be easy for me to take credit for that, but I can't. My mother and my father were champions of education, so I saw them first. And of course, none of it would have happened had not the hand of God been upon us. And so some amazing things happened. Um, some of them looked real crazy. Um, but I followed the Spirit of God, and I'm so thankful. Yes. I have seen parents who did every single thing right to the T, and things happen, and their children don't do so well. I have seen parents who do nothing right, it appears, and their children turn out to be amazing. So we always have to give God the glory. That's it. Because it, it isn't because of us. But I will take credit for standing on their necks. <laughs> the other day, they were talking about, uh, I guess one of my grandchildren is pretty rambunctious. She's two years old, and we were laughing about her. And the next thing I knew, they were talking about Ninja Jar 2. <laughs> they were talking about me right. and the shoe I might fling, you know, right. to get their attention. Sure. But they've done well, um, and I and to God be the glory. Wonderful. So look into that camera real quick and say something to your children, how much you appreciate them, how much you love them before we go to part two. I am so blessed because I have children I can say I love you to them every time we talk. Yeah. We don't see each other every day because they live all around the country. Sure. But... I love you. I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for you. I applaud you. You're my heartbeat. God first. My children. I have a husband. Yes. They're first in my life. Um, I don't know what else to say except <laughs> thank you, Lord, That's right. for the gift of children. <clears throat> and thank you, Lord, for the gift of family. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to the one and only the Bishop Dr. Juanita Jolly. Beaufort. Beaufort. She got married not long ago, and we're going to uh, talk about that a little bit later. I want you to stay tuned for part two of my exclusive interview with a family friend who has seen me grow up as a young man who knows my mother, the late evangelist Jesse Malone. My mother has passed down, thank you, Father, that mantle to me. We're going to be right back with part two. Stay right here.